Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my bedroom. This was a requested video, so if you have recommendations for videos in the future, definitely leave them down in the comments and I will get to them. But on with today's video. So this is my bedroom I'm going to be showing you today. And first off, we have a lovely view of my bed. That quilt on my bed my mother made and also the quilt at the bottom of my bed my mother made. She's a seamstress so she makes all the quilts and curtains in our house. Also, as you can see on the head of my bed, I have my little array of stuffed animals and pillows. These have been given to me by friends over the years and I just love them. My boyfriend Adam says I have way too many stuffed animals, but I have no idea what he's talking about because I don't think I have enough. So moving right along, we come to my bedside table where you can see my phone and all the books that I hope to read soon. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Right next to my end table is my bookshelves. I've got two of them, an actual bookshelf for books and a shelving unit for movies and CDs. As you can see, my shelves are really full and not all my books fit on this bookshelf here. I have overspillage that has found its way into my dad's office next door. I need to go and actually reorganize my bookshelf to see if I can fit all my books on this one here, but that is a project for another time. I have a lot of knickknacks displayed on my bookshelf. Mainly they're items from franchises that I love like Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Doctor Who. I have a few Pokemon stuff as well, like my Kanto Pokedex from when I was a kid. Next to my bookshelf is my desk. As you can see, it's very clean. I try to keep my desk as clean as possible because I find the less clutter there is on my desk, the better I work. It's very odd. With clutter, I feel like my mind is also cluttered and I just can't be productive with that clutter. The contents of my desk I think are pretty standard. There's a telephone which I mostly have off because I film a lot so I don't want it ringing while I'm filming so I usually yank the cord out of the wall. There's my computer which I do most of my editing on. At the back of my desk there's quite a few little holding chambers for pencils and knickknacks as well. I like having those back there because if I'm cleaning and I have like tiny little items just scattered around my desk, I can easily shove them into those little pots with covers and then they disappear and I forget about them and it's great. Also at the back of my desk, I have three little glass figures. One is a fake diamond. Another one is a rectangular prism with a unicorn on the inside. And the third one is actually a beetle preserved in plasticine. Adam got it for me. I quite like it. It's also fitting because I am doing a master's in entomology. It makes sense. <laughs> From my desk we go to my bureau. The top of my bureau is probably the most interesting thing in my room in my opinion. It's where I have my turntable and all my perfumes and sunglasses displayed. I've been told I have a lot of sunglasses, but seeing as I can't wear jewelry because I'm allergic to most of it, I accessorize with my sunglasses, hence the large collection. From my bureau, we're gonna take a quick spin around the rest of my room. There's the door to my room. You could see out into the hallway. Behind my door, you could see my mirror, and then at the base of my mirror, I always keep my school bag there. Then there's my closet doors. On the knobs, I like to keep bags that I'm currently using. So there's my fancy one and then my bucket bag and a little bag that my mom has made for me. And we keep moving along and you see my soft boxes. I don't take them apart. And then last but not least is my guinea pig cage. And there are my pigs eating salad. Aren't they cute? And that is my bedroom. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the summer. So if you want to help me do that, then please subscribe. So I'll leave you now with my guinea pigs munching away. See you next time, guys. Bye.